This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I want to welcome each of you to Georgetown Presbyterian Church on this third Sunday of the Advent season. This is a very special Sunday for our congregation as we will feast sumptuously upon the gifts of music that our choir and many guests assembled on this day will offer us. It's a wonderful program of music. If you have looked through your bulletin at all ahead of time, you are aware of that. And so we will be blessed in very rich and numerous ways on this day with the gift of music under the direction of Mary Lou Norris. We're grateful for those gifts. I want to welcome each and every one of you who may be a guest with us today. We ask those of you seated toward the center aisle to begin to pass down your cue and back up again. Uh, the ritual of friendship and we would love for those of you who are guests with us today to give us not only your name but also some contact information whether that be an email address or your street address or a phone number or some combination of those things we would love to be able to be in touch with you in the days ahead but we're glad that you're here and hope that this will be a meaningful part of your celebration of the advent christmas season a couple of things just to note also you are asked if you can please do it to withhold your applause until the very end, I am going to get up and give you the opportunity to show your appreciation toward the end of the program of music right before we sing our final hymn of the morning, which is O Come All Ye Faithful. So you'll have an opportunity to do that, but we ask you to refrain from that until that time toward the close of the service. Also, it is the cold and flu season. I, I know that some of you, we don't, sh I I'm in the, uh, have the custom of shaking hands, but some of you would rather elbow bump with me as you go out, and that is fine. Just make sure that if someone sticks their elbow out to you rather than their hand, that you just kind of join in and elbow bump with them, uh, and that way we'll help uh, hopefully not pass around things that don't need to be passed around. Everybody wants to be good and healthy. Uh, as we celebrate Christmas together. A couple of things coming up on, on the calendar for the week. Uh, there will be a session meeting at 5.30 on uh, Tuesday afternoon this week. The men's breakfast will meet for the final time this year at, at 8 o'clock in the morning. Also, there will be pageant practice at 5.15 next week. Uh, I hope you'll come back if you're a guest with us today because we will be having our children's Christmas pageant. It'll be a wonderful time of celebration. Our children leading us in worship uh, next week. So hope you will be able to come back. But they will have a practice 515 on Wednesday night, and then their Christmas party will take place beginning at 530 in the Fellowship Hall of the church. Um, also, uh, Christmas Eve service will be at 530. We will do uh, a number of things in that service, from singing carols to lighting candles. Uh, I will be preaching a sermon at that service as well. So hope all of you can come out at 530 on Christmas Eve and join in that special service, a, a really important, uh, wonderful service each and every year. And also, this, there's an opportunity for you uh, today and next Sunday as well to be a part of our mission and outreach marketplace. It is open right here in that entryway to our fellowship hall. This is an opportunity for you to learn more about mission and to be able to, in some way, give a meaningful gift uh, in honor of someone, in memory of someone that will help uh, to uh, further a mission cause in uh, some other place. One of our own mission causes that we support here at Georgetown Presbyterian or perhaps another one of your own choosing. So find out more about that at the table uh, out in the entryway to the fellowship hall following uh, the service today or next week as well. Are there any other announcements that need to be made today? Hearing none, let us worship the Lord together.
we sing congregational hymns this morning. You do not even need your hymn book. Those words, the lyrics of the hymns that we will be singing today are printed right there in your bulletin. This time I'd like to recognize Tim and Rose Tilly that they might light the third Advent candle for us. be seated. And now the word of God from the prophet Micah. But you, 
Bethlehem Ephrathah. Though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from of old, from ancient times. Therefore Israel will be abandoned until the time when she who is in labor gives birth and the rest of his brothers return to join the Israelites. He will stand and shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord, the majesty of the name of the Lord his God, and they will live securely. For then his greatness will reach to the ends of the earth. He will be their peace.
Isaiah. A shoot will come up from the stump of Jesse. From his roots, a branch will bear fruit. The spirit of the Lord will rest on him. The spirit of wisdom and of understanding. The spirit of counsel and of power. The spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our Lord will stand forever. In this season of the year, this season of gifts being given and gifts being received, let us return a portion of that which God has first given to us, now in the form of an offering.
Lord God, we give you thanks for the many gifts that are ours, the blessings that we have, some of which are of a material nature and some of which are of a spiritual nature. We're grateful for the gifts of song and music, for those things that make the season even sweeter, and for that greatest gift of all, that of your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. We dedicate this offering that his kingdom might be proclaimed that the body of Christ here and in other places might be strengthened. These things we pray in his holy and righteous name, Jesus our Emmanuel. Amen. Please be seated. Hear again the word of God from the gospel according to Luke. At that time, Mary got ready and hurried to a town in the hill country of Judea, where she entered Zechariah's home and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. In a loud voice, she exclaimed, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the child you will bear. But why am I so favored that the mother of my Lord should come to me? As soon as the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed is she who has believed that what the Lord has said to her will be accomplished.
you now? Christ is born today. Christ is born today. God rescue Mary, gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day to save us all from sin and woe when we were gone astray. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy.
to Jerusalem with the Risen, risen upon me. 
I just want to say a word of thanks for this gift of music today. A wonderful program of music. If you guys aren't in the Christmas spirit yet, I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> Let us show our appreciation.
Lord God, who are we that you should come to us? And yet you have visited your people and redeemed us in your Son. As we prepare to celebrate his birth, make our hearts leap for joy at the sound of your word. Move us by your Holy Spirit to bless all of your wonderful works. We ask this through him whose coming is certain, whose day draws near. Your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Let us continue our prayer, praying in the name of Jesus Christ, the prayer that he taught us as his disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And let us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, and the power May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace both now and forevermore. Amen.
Oh,